Hi, it's Laura at Aquamarine 18 Tarot and Books. Thanks for stopping by my channel today. Welcome or welcome back. This is my 2024 Tarot TBR, a list of 10 tarot related books that I would like to read in the upcoming calendar year. In making this list, I am inspired by my friend Sarah over at Waterchild Tarot, who I'll link in the description box, who throughout 2023 has been reading roughly a tarot book per month. And we buddy read some of these books together, and I had a great time doing that. And so I'm really excited to have tarot books to look forward to reading in the coming year. I feel like with a channel called Aquamarine 18 Tarot and Books, I really want to get more tarot book related content up on my channel and kind of divination related books more broadly. I enjoy doing book reviews. I review books of all kinds on Goodreads, Storygraph, and NetGalley as well. I have published book reviews in um, more academic contexts as well. So it is something that I really like doing and it's something that I think I am good at in terms of the kinds of videos that I make. So I'm excited to share more tarot book reviews in the upcoming year. I'll timestamp and include all of the titles and authors below. Um, if you have any particular books that you think I would like that are tarot or divination related, please feel free to leave them in the comments. If you would like to buddy read a book in this list with me, you know, please feel free to let me know. I would really enjoy that. I love book clubs and buddy reads and talking about books. So I'm more than happy to, you know, read alongside other folks if there is interest. So this is in really no particular order. Um, just kind of the order that I've written them on the Word document that I'm referring to as I present this video. But uh, anyway, some of the books I have in hard copy, a couple of the books I have in digital copy, and then some of the books I do not have. But that won't stop me because, you know, if it's an excuse to grow my tarot library, that's okay too, right? So the first book I'll mention is actually a reread, and it's the only reread on this list for me. And that is Untold Tarot, The Lost Art of Reading Ancient Tarots by Kathleen Matthews. And this is a book, as it suggests um, by its title, focused on um, decks like Tarot de Marseille, right? And I read this book, but I feel like it warrants a reread. I'm starting to really feel like 2024 is going to be a kind of year of Marseille for me because I have, you know, a little collection of Marseille decks now that I really like and I'm really excited to play with. So I think I would like to reread this book. And it covers the majors, of course, the minors, the courts, divining skills from earlier eras, the art of directional reading, and a section of spreads. When I first read this book, I really just kind of read it cover to cover and I didn't spend so much time on practicing the different techniques um, in a more rigorous way. So I would like to do that um, and, you know, give this book, I think, the, the time that it deserves. I think that this is a really substantive book that, you know, is deserving of more intensive study. So I would like to reread The Untold Tarot by Kathleen Matthews. In a bit of a theme here, I would also like to read The Marseille Tarot Revealed by Yoav Bendov. This is a, you know, a very well-known tarot book, um, Tarot de Marseille book specifically, um, that I've wanted to read for a long time. I've had it sitting on my pile for kind of a long time. <laughs> Admittedly, uh, my little stack um, of 16 unread books as of the day that I'm filming this. There's 16 books in my house that I haven't read, and this is one of them. And, you know, what better time than the present? So the, the table of contents is organized by, you know, each card has an entry. And then, you know, for the courts, there's some sections on kind of reading court cards in general. Same thing for the, the numbered cards. And there's a section on symbolic language covering directions, colors, numbers, figures, body parts. Um, there is some historical content, which I'm not, um, I'm not sure is going to be the most accurate, but it's there. 
um, and then there's some spreads at the end. So I know that Yoav Bendov, you know, is very much uh, respected as a, you know, an author on the Marseille tradition, and I'm looking forward to reading this book in 2024. I am really excited to read Tarot for Transformation 2 Swords by Drea Bloom. This is a book that I know that I'm going to be really into because I just finished reading the Pentacles installment. Drea is writing a book on each of the four minor suits, and I loved the book on the Pentacles. I will be sharing a detailed deck review, um, you know, sooner rather than later on the Pentacles book. Five stars. I, I loved it. And so I'm really excited for the swords, which just came out, just, just came out. And then cups and wands are forthcoming. So this one is a um, journaling focused book for sure. Um, you know, assuming that it is structured similarly and organized similarly to the Pentacles book. It is a mix of kind of historical information, uh, the author's own interpretation of the cards, and then kind of weaving in different kind of um, references that the author brings in in really interesting and creative ways to make connections uh, to the cards with different journaling questions and prompts throughout. Um, I found the Pentacles book very thought-provoking, and I really enjoyed working my way through it, so I'm excited to read this entire series, and I will be sharing my reviews as I go. Highly, highly recommend the Pentacles book. I really, really liked it. Now, those are all the books that I have hard copies of, so I will share up here a picture of the covers of the books from here on out. I would like to read Tarot for the Hard Work, An Archetypal Journey to Confront Racism and Inspire Collective Healing by Maria Minnis, with a foreword by Rashonda Tramble. This is a book that is not published yet. It is coming out in January 2024. And the description of the book online reads in part, Tarot for the Hard Work is a provocative exploration of the 22 cards of the Major Arcana, that re-envisions these archetypes as beacons that illuminate the various ways racism takes root both in ourselves and in the world. Author Maria Minnis, with compassion and wisdom, shows us how these insights can be turned into self-awareness, self-love, and positive social action. I have been looking forward to this book since I learned that it was going to exist in the world, so I will definitely be picking up a copy I will definitely be reading it and I will definitely be sharing thoughts with you. I would like to read Tom Benjamin's book, Your Tarot Toolkit, a workbook for building clear, precise, confident readings. The reason that I want to read this book is because I think Tom Benjamin writes a really good book based on my experience with Tarot on Earth. I found Tarot on Earth to be a really uh, readable, accessible useful book for learning particularly how to work with pip decks. I still have my, um, you know, I ended up typing out the notes that I took. It is kind of a workbook, so there's room in the book to kind of pencil in answers. I didn't do that. I wrote on a piece of note paper and I typed them out. And, you know, some of the work that I did in the context of Tarot on Earth, I still, I have those kind of charts and notes and I keep them and I refer to them. I found working through the book very, very helpful. It has really informed my reading uh, of Pip decks for sure. So I'm confident that your Tarot Toolkit will be a great book as well. And so I'm looking forward to reading that. I would like to read all of our stories, The Little Red Tarot Guidebook by Beth Maiden. This is a book that I have, you know, again, had on my list for a very long time. The description of the book, you know, perhaps unsurprisingly, given the book is called All of Our Stories, the description talks about um, reading tarot as telling stories from the cards and also talks about kind of finding our life stories and the stories of human experience in the context of the cards, right? 
And so I'm interested in reading this really based on my appreciation of and respect for Beth Maiden and the Little Red Tarot blog and website. I've learned a ton from Little Red Tarot. I really appreciate, you know, all the work that that Beth has done um, on the Little Red Tarot project. And so this is a book that I would really like to read and be able to review. Some of these books, you know, for me, particularly the ones that are more um, kind of card by card books, particularly the books that are maybe geared in a more beginner friendly way. These are books that, you know, besides just being interested in reading for myself, I'm also interested in reading because I get asked, I'm sure a lot of us who are tarot enthusiasts get asked, you know, what is the first tarot book that I should get? You know, what's a good book for somebody who wants to learn who is a beginner? What's a good book for someone who, you know, maybe has read a little white book and nothing else? What's a good place to start? So I do want to be reading some beginner tarot books um, even if I look at the book and maybe think, well, you know, I wouldn't consider myself a tarot beginner at this point, uh, but I think that it's good to know what is in those books to be able to recommend them in a good way. So, um, you know, I think all of our stories is not necessarily a beginner book specifically, but certainly it is um, kind of, you know, pitched and described as being kind of very accessible and approachable um, and perhaps beginner friendly. And so, you know, I'd love to have more beginner friendly books that, that I've read that I can recommend. So it appeals to me for that reason as well. I would like to read, and I'm very excited to read, Red Tarot, A Decolonial Guide to Divinatory Literacy by Christopher Marmalejo. This is a book that is coming out in March. Actually, this book is scheduled to come out on my birthday, which is March 5th. And I have scored an advanced reviewer copy of the ebook of Red Tarot. And, you know, as soon as I saw this, I knew I wanted to read it. And so I'll just read uh, some of the description of this book. Red Tarot speaks to anyone othered for their identity or ways of being or thinking, LGBTQIA2S plus and BIPOC folks in particular presenting the tarot as a radical epistemology that shifts the authority of knowing into the hands of the people themselves. Author Christopher Marmalejo frames literacy as key to liberation and explores an understanding of tarot as critical literacy. They show how the cards can be read to subvert the dynamics of white supremacist capitalist imperialist patriarchy, weaving historical context and spiritual practice into a comprehensive overview of tarot. And it goes on from there, um, but it does it does mention um, including references to authors, including but not limited to Toni Morrison, Bell Hooks, Paulo Freire, Jose Esteban Munoz, and others. And you know these are all authors that that I've read, and I'm really really excited by the description of this book. I am not familiar with um, the author from from previously. Um, I just signed up to their newsletter today, but I am so, so excited for Red Tarot. So look for that coming out in March. I am looking forward to reading Radical Tarot by Charlie Claire Burgess. Radical Tarot has been out for at least a couple of months now. I don't think an entire year. I think it came out this year. And it is a book by the author of The Fifth Spirit Tarot. And I love The Fifth Spirit Tarot. It's one of my, you know, most used, most loved decks for myself and reading for others as well. And I really liked The Fifth Spirit Tarot Guidebook. Um, I have the guidebook from the indie edition. The deck is now mass market and comes with something. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't, it's not the full guidebook, though. Everyone I know who's been reading Radical Tarot all says that they like it. Um, I have yet to hear someone say that they don't like it. So that always kind of bodes well. <laughs> um, I conferred with uh, someone else who was reading it to make sure that it wasn't too um, image heavy or picture heavy. And once I found out that it wasn't, I went ahead and got the ebook while it was on sale. So I have a copy of this book ready to go. And, you know, based on my 
familiarity with Charlie Claire Burgess's work, both in terms of the Fifth Spirit deck, the guidebook, and also different content they've produced through their Patreon. I'm confident that Radical Terror will be great, and I'm looking forward to reviewing it for all of you. I would like to read a book called A Cultural History of Tarot from Entertainment to Esotericism by Helen Farley. This is an academic tarot history book. The author is a lecturer in religious studies and esotericism, and the publisher is Bloomsbury Academic. So this will be a scholarly look at tarot's trajectory and tarot's influence on culture. Tarot as a, um, a gaming device, as a fortune-telling tool, as a tool for various kinds of introspection and personal development from kind of origins to present. And I'm really excited for this book. I feel like, unfortunately, um, you know, from what I've read so far in terms of tarot books, the history sections are sometimes lacking <laughs> in accuracy. And so having a, a more kind of rigorous, scholarly, you know, critical, analytical approach to tarot history is something that appeals to me very much. And the framing of it being a history of tarot's influence on culture appeals to me very much as someone who did a, a cultural studies doctorate and, and was doing work that was very much, you know, in, in the line of kind of cultural history and the history of ideas. So I'm excited about this one. It's not one that I hear talked about much. Um, I don't know, you know, whether and to what extent uh, the author is a tarot practitioner. I have no idea, um, but they are a scholar of esotericism and religions. And so being an author of this book makes sense. I'm really looking forward to this one as something a bit different. And finally, the last book on my list, again, the list is in no particular order, is The Living Tarot, Connecting the Cards to Everyday Life for Better Readings by T. Susan Chang. And this is another book that I think I'm, I'm partly interested in because I liked T. Susan Chang's book on tarot correspondences. And I'm partly interested in because it's framed as a beginner-friendly book, and I'm wondering if this might be another book that would be a good one to have as a potential recommendation uh, for tarot beginners. So, you know, I think that it's useful to have reviews of beginner-oriented books and to know about these books so that you can share them with people who are looking for, for a first book, right? And the description of The Living Tarot notes that this book reveals how to find personal everyday meanings in all 78 cards, um, learning to see, breathe, and feel the tarot wherever you turn. And so really connecting tarot to kind of everyday life experiences rather than kind of a keyword approach to learning. Right? And so I think that this will be a good one. That is that is my tarot TBR for 2024. Um, of course it could change. I'm, I'm anticipating that it might grow. <laughs> I'm anticipating that it might grow a little bit. Uh, and this is not necessarily the only books that I intend to do book reviews of on my channel. I certainly have some other books that I plan to read in 2024 that are not tarot books, but are, um, for example, astrology books or druidry books that I also think would be of interest to do full reviews of here on the channel. So I'm really excited to focus in on, you know, not just tarot and books, but like tarot books. I think that this will be really fun. Let me know what you're reading. Let me know what your favorite tarot book is. Um, I would love to know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.